when you do lower body workouts or are they in pain so much that you actually try to avoid working that lower body altogether? My name is Terrell and I'm one of the coaches here at Beyond 40 and today I have five exercises that are going to work that lower body, your quads, your hamstrings and all those muscles around your knees and we're going to help support it but while we do it we're going to take the load off of your knees. One of the best things that we can do as we age to keep our metabolism on fire is to keep our muscle mass on our frame and your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your core, all these things are big muscle groups. So they're responsible for a lot of your metabolism. But the bummer of it is as we age, also I'm 52 years old, I definitely can tell you a few things about this. We get pains in our joints because we've used them for all the years we've been alive. I've played sports most of my life and so there is some repetitive kind of movement pain in there. So it is so important for us to be able to keep that muscle on our frame that we have to find ways to do it without causing more pain while we build it up. So today we're gonna to do that and I will tell you what, the last one I love because it specifically targets the muscles around those knees, but it lights up your core. So here we go. And in order to do these, one of them you don't need any equipment, but the other ones you do, or you can add equipment kind of as you progress. So we're gonna use a stability ball. We're gonna use an infinity band. I love these bad boys here also, and some one of them, you can use this one instead of one of these, but we're gonna show you lots of options. So whatever you have, most of these things are super inexpensive and you can just grab them in you know, that big online marketplace. You can have it in <laughs> just a couple days. So, all right, let's get going because the first one that we're gonna do is actually called a straight leg raise. And I like this one because there's no bend at all to your knees. So you're gonna actually get down onto the floor. And this one, we're gonna use this smaller infinity band. You're gonna put them around. I like to put underneath one foot and on top of this shin here. Now, the more pain you have in your knee, the higher I want you to put this band because it's gonna support your knee a little bit more, okay? So we're gonna put it just about right here. It feels good. And we're gonna lean back and from here, we're just gonna raise this leg and drop it. Now, I love in my resistance training workouts to have my contraction be two counts and my release be three. So I'll go one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Now that doesn't play well with all of the exercises, but the two, three count, I love it. And it stimulates muscle growth in a quick way. So do those, do three sets each side, give me, you know, 12 to 15. And these resistance bands come in like a pack of five. And so start with the actual lightest because I want you to get a big range of motion. I want you to feel that quad lighten up. And then I want you to keep progressing with the stronger bands as you go, but take your time because the range of motion is a very big deal. And also I don't want you to feel it at all in your back. So start low and work your way up. Okay, number two, we've got wall ball squats. Now, what I love about these is you can do them a couple of ways. I'm going to use the ball to show you today, but you can use a TRX so you can hang that up. I have one back here and you can hold those handles and squat backwards. Or if you don't have any of those things and you have something you can hang on to, you can hold here and just squat way back like this because it puts the actual weight and center of gravity, not on your knees, but behind you right here. So you can work those quads. And then uh, with and that, you wouldn't even need any equipment. But I'm going to use the ball, and I'm going to stick it right in here. And I like to start it up a little bit high. I like to use the ball because when I want to, I can add weight by holding the weight. But it's still going to take all of the pressure off of my knee. And I also can get a very big range of motion. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to squat all the way down and all the way up all the way down and all the way up. Now I'm pushing back against this ball. So I'm taking the center of gravity and the blunt force of this movement off of my knees. Now, range of motion on this one is a very big deal to work those quads. So get down as low as you can and then keep trying to get lower and lower without feeling any pressure behind those knees, okay? Now, and again, do 12 to 15 of them 
three sets. If you prefer, you can time it 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. I do also do the three, two count with that one. So when I'm on my way down, one, two, three, on the way up, one, two. All right, here we go. Now, the next thing is what's called a TKE. And this involves straightening that knee all the way. When we have knee pain, a lot of times um, we can't uh, straighten our leg all the way. And, and that is a really big deal. So this is going to work your quad big time and your hamstring, but it's going to help you get that range of motion with that knee. Now, you, I'm going to use this band and I'll show you how, but you can also use this one. We're just going to put it around here, give it a little tie so you can hold on to it in a loop. But I'm going to do it this way right here. I'm going to put my leg through both of these loops. All right. And now this is going to kind of pull. I'm going to have it right behind my knee. It's going to kind of pull my knee. I want my knee to come forward. So I'm going to kind of stack my spine and push my hips forward. And from here, I'm just going to start here. I'm going to straighten my knee back just like this. I'm going to hold it. One, two, three. And I'm going to slowly release. And then I come back. Hold it, squeezing that quad and that glute. One, two, three, and in. One, two, three. And I'm telling you what, these are so great for like the whole leg. And what a beautiful muscle this builds. So now the next one, I love this. Again, this is going to be a nice squat, and it's going to take the pressure off of the knee because we're going to be putting our center of gravity behind us. So you're going to put this big band because you're going to need something. This can simulate the wall ball squat too if you don't have the ball. So you put it on both, but you want it heavy enough that it actually can support you. And you're going to squat backwards like this. All right, you want to try as hard as you can to keep two 90 degree angles so that you're way back. And this one is great because again, like with the ball, you can add weight to it because you can hold on to the weight. So, and I will go the count of three down and the count of two up. All right, now we have one more. This is the best one right here because we're gonna work all the muscles around those knees and we're gonna light up that core. Okay, so you're gonna actually, no equipment needed, come down onto your knees. When you're here, you're gonna tuck that booty under Okay, you're gonna really squeeze those buns. You're gonna tighten up your core, your core muscles, which are inside underneath those um, abs. So tighten that whole core. Start here, you're gonna lean back as far as you can, right? And then you're gonna pull up. So you're gonna lean back, ready? Here it is, one, two, three, one, two. Just like that. Try to get back further and further and further every time you do it. Give me 12 to 15 of them. Just those two, I can feel my quads. I love that exercise. Quads, abs, everything. That one works it all. So let me know if you try any of these because the best thing that we can do for our knees is build all those muscles up around them. And thank you so much for sticking around with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.